Next up on our list, we look back on Baroku FC's 2017-18 season. League after negotiating the relegation playoffs last season, not much was expected from a Baroku side that had won just five of their 30 league games the previous year. Yet far beyond any PSL-loving fans' predictions, Bake Gargu enjoyed a stellar start to the new season, going unbeaten in their first eight matches, results which included a 1-1 draw with Orlando Pirates and a 2-1 victory over Kaiser Chiefs. Following that result, they spent six consecutive weeks at the summit of the APSA Premiership table, and were declared Q Innovation winners over the first quarter of the season. However, that was as good as it got for the Limpopo club, who failed to ride the crest of the wave as they gradually slipped their way down the standings. Reports of ill discipline involving coach Goloko Tobejane and players Oscarine Masiluk and Aleleng Shaka led to their suspension and eventual release, as McDonald Makubada took charge. He couldn't stop the slide, however, lasting just six games as Dr. Kimolo sat on the bench for the final two games of the season, where Despite a final day 1-0 loss to Super Sport United, the club was able to avoid the playoffs, finishing just one berth above in 14th place. Cup's star man talent Chawapua brought smiles to the Baroka faithful as his strike down Demtian 8 finalist Cape Town City in the last 16 of the Telcom knockout, yet a 1-0 defeat to eventual champions by Vistwitz saw them knocked out in the quarter-finals. They did not fare any better in the Nedbank Cup overcoming Minnows Steenburg United 2-0 in the last 32 before going down 1-0 to Kaiser Chiefs in the next round. Striking statistics Baroka conceded the most goals in the first half, 19, of any team, while also conceding 38 goals in 30 games, their worst in the league, bar Ajax Cape Town who had 3-3-0 scorelines go against them owing to the Tendined Aro saga. They also ended bottom of the league's possession ranks, ending with an average of just 44% possession across their 30 games, while also attempting the least amount of passes, 336, with the worst passing accuracy of any team in the league, 70.2%. Areas of improvement consistency seems to be the biggest letdown for Brokaw, be it in their player or coaching department. At the start of the season, they proved they could mix it up with the big boys, but quickly ran out of steam. Leaving fans to tentatively wait to see which Baroka football club will show up next season.